Hello everyone, Manafa Collective was here with yet another Hot Toys unboxing and review video. And today we're taking a look at a cable from Deadpool 2. Yes guys, I know I've been absent for the past two weeks, but I'm back, I'm here, and I can wait to show you this figure and of course all the details. But before we start, if you are new to the channel and you want to check out the latest Hot Toys releases, posting videos and live streams, Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss anything. Alright guys, enough with the talking, let's start with the unboxing. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, and here we have the box. And as you can see, we have a nice picture of cable in the front. Yes, this is the special edition. This is the side of the box with the continuation of the picture. Cable here. This is the back with all the cursor warning. Small pieces, do not eat it. This is the other side of the box, cable, as you can see with the Deadpool logo there. Bottom of the box, cable. And last but not least, top with Deadpool 2 logo there. All right, guys, enough of this. Let me open this up and take a better look at the figure and the accessories. Because you know what? This figure comes with a lot of accessories and that's a huge plus. So let me remove the first cover here and we have the shield looking really good. And don't worry, I'm going to show you later in the accessory section. And of course, smell of a brand new Hot Toys. So let me remove the plastic cover from the face and of course the body. And this is how you'll see cable in the packaging looking very nice. We have the teddy bear, accessories, hands, and of course the base. All right, guys, so now let me take everything out and take a closer look at the accessories. And here we have all the accessories. And yes, we're going to start with the base. And yes, same thing, <laughs> right? Same base, Deadpool 2 here on the top, cable in the name tag and underneath. We have the marble and hot toys logo there that's pretty much all you're gonna get with this base then we move on to the rain jacket and a very good soft material as you can see here nice weathering on the edges and this is the other side good thing about this thing guys is wire very thin wire inside so you can actually do really cool poses if you spend some time but don't worry again i'm going to show you everything in the posing section then we have this shield here looking pretty cool i like the design and the color of course you see this translucent thingy right here so this is where you can actually put the shield and of course you can rotate it so that's a huge plus because you know you can move it any direction you want then we have this teddy bear this is the burnt version of the teddy bear as you can see looking very good love the paint application especially the burning piece one half is burned the other one is eh, it's okay it's kind of dirty then we have this um i think this is like a time machine type of thing that you can put on the wrist uh, as you can see nicely painted as well then we have three bullets that you can actually put on cable very nicely painted you can see the golden and of course the black edges looking good and then we have this little knife here which I don't know guys but i couldn't find a spot for this thing <laughs> so maybe it's me i don't know but as you can see nicely painted especially the edges and of course the blade then we have one gun here and this one looks pretty cool if you ask me you can see the silver edges on the handle and of course the cannon looking badass very modern right if you ask me then we have this little pistol here and as you can see nicely painted and weathered this is the other side and of course you can remove the magazine and you can see one little bullet sticking out over there so you can use that with that and of course you can actually change this um magazines with the extra tools that you have here you can also put this on uh cables belt then we have this disc here and i think this is for uh time travel you can see the red and uh, gray on the other side, nicely painted overall. Then we have three more magazines that you can actually put on the on the bullet uh, proof vest. And as you can see, this looks pretty cool. It's a bit difficult to put it on the vest, but don't worry, you know, you'll see it in the poses. Then we have this badass rifle here. And let me tell you a lot of details going on very nicely painted you can see that you can remove the magazine as well and again another bullet here 
and that's basically it then we have on the top you can move this piece up and down or forward and backwards and it is pretty cool then you can move this piece uh, forward a little bit and then you can move the bottom part as well so i think this thing looks massive very nicely painted especially the attention to detail this is the front you can see the cannon and of course this is the other side with which is magnetic so you can actually put this in the back of cable so that's a cool thing right then we have a few hands so i'm going to show you four so i'm going to start with these three first so you have the fist you have the one without the glove which is more mechanical so looking pretty cool and of course we have the mechanical arm or hand rather with the glove which looks really good as well love the paint application and pretty much everything else all right guys so now let's take a closer look at cable here and let me tell you guys this guy doesn't look that bad. I know it is not exactly as the prototype, but overall, I'm very happy with this thing. Let me get my tape and see how tall this figure actually is. And cable is about 12 inches tall. All right, guys, so now let's take a closer look at the details and see what else we have with this figure. So this is the head sculpt, and yes, it is not 100%. It is not exactly as the prototype, but overall, I think it is a good, good head sculpt. Love the, the detail on the face, especially the scarves, looking really good. It is definitely Josh Brawley, so if you ask me, the likeness is there. This is the back of the figure. You can see the neck looking pretty cool, and of course, the other side. And if you see the hair, I kind of like it. It has a gray hair, so very nice attention to detail. Nicely painted as well, so overall, very happy. Now, you can remove the head sculpt and have access to the ladder feature. So yes, it is only one eye, so if you turn this thing on, if I can't, you see, it's kind of bright, so not bad at all. And then you put the head sculpt, and let me just turn off my lights so you guys can see how bright this thing is. And if I can turn off my lights, all right, as you can see, not bad at all. I think I'm very happy with this. Maybe, maybe a bit brighter. The only downside is that if you leave the battery zone, it's going to run quick. So... Yes, you can take pictures, but it is not good enough. Hopefully in the future, we get some type of technology that you can actually leave it on and you don't have to worry. Now, moving down, you can see this little piece here where you can put the bullets. This is the bulletproof vest and of course, the single joint um, arm, which don't worry, we're gonna go over the articulation in just a second. This is the other side and looking pretty cool. Now, this is the mechanical arm and the attention to detail is really, really good. Love the detail. Yes, you can see the nice paint application and mechanical mechanical pieces going on. This is the hand, you can see the fingers, and of course, the hand. Now, the, as you can see, we have the bulletproof vest, and of course, we have the belt. This is the gun holder, you can put the big gun here, looking really good. This is where you can put the magazines, and of course, the pants, nicely weathered as well. So, very soft material, not you know i don't see any issues for articulation now moving down you can see the boots which are two pieces and that's a huge huge plus because you know what you can actually do very cool poses with this thing right you can see the other boot and of course the bottom of the feet with no weathering whatsoever but hey i'm okay with that you can see the other uh side of the figure this is the back more weathering of course the booty and the belt looking pretty cool. Love this plastic gun holder there and the back of the vest, as you can see, looking pretty cool. And of course, the attention to detail on the mechanical pieces. And don't worry, I'm gonna take the shirt off so you guys can see pretty much everything. All right, guys, so now for the articulation, you can move the head up and down this much and to the sides this much, not bad. Now for the arm, you can, okay, <laughs> I took it out, so I guess, this seems to be a problem here. All right, so it's not broken, so I can just put it on. You can do a full 360 with the arm. Obviously, no swivel on the bicep because it's all one piece. You can bend the elbow one single joint, and that can bother a lot of people. So, and some articulation on the hand. Now, for the chest, you can do swivel and up crunch. So really not bad at all. For the other arm, the real regular arm, you have one you know single joint here so that could be a problem for the legs you can do a split for about this much swivel here you can lift the leg for about this much back not so much just a little double joint on the knees so that's a huge plus and of course the articulation on the feet which is pretty good because i guess two pieces 
right? All right, guys. So now let me show you this thing without the shirt. And damn, this thing looks freaking amazing. The amount of detail on this is fantastic. Now we can argue the proportions. It doesn't look bad, but it's not the best, right? I have to be honest with you guys, right? It is not the best proportions, but overall, I'm very happy with this. A lot of things going on, especially you can see now the articulation moving up and down on the chest. So very nice. Love the detail on the skin that blends perfectly with the mechanical pieces or the mechanical body. You can see the neck, more details going on, especially this silver piece on the top, on the shoulder, looking very good. And I think overall, this is a good figure. Yes, it is not the best, it is not perfect, but definitely, definitely better than the Toys Era one. You can see the belly button right there. This is the back of the figure, looking pretty cool, but the paint application and how they did this with the skin and the mechanical pieces looks fantastic so very good attention to detail by hot toys even the side of the belt you can see some you know weathering and and some stuff coming off right but overall guys i think the proportions are pretty good as you can see here so not bad at all all right so as you can see guys it looks good so no issues whatsoever all right guys so now let me show you a comparison here and yes we have deadpool and cable and of course they're gonna look amazing together so i'm debating whether i should post this figure with the shirt on without the shirt on i don't know but one thing for sure i'm gonna put these two guys together because they look really good yes cable is a bit shorter than than deadpool for some reason in real life maybe that's the case but that's basically it all right guys so now let's do some poses and we're gonna start with cable sitting down holding the teddy bear and as you can see very easy pose to do I didn't do nothing special, just balancing well, sitting on the barrel. And of course I added some Deadpool accessories. As you can see, we have the high heels, we have the rifle, that's basically it. For the next pose, I have to put both guys together, Deadpool and of course Cable, and they look amazing together. So this pose is very simple and it looks really good, right? You can see Deadpool pointing at, at Cable, Cable looking straight with a straight face as usual, and that's basically it. Now for the next pose, I have to put cable fully loaded. Yes, including the shield and the raincoat. And let me tell you guys, if you wanna pose your figure like this, you definitely should. I think it looks way better than without the shirt. Even though without the shirt has a lot of details, I think this pose here is badass because it kinda of shows you cable of how he really, really is. Now for the next pose, I put again Deadpool and Cable together. Yes, we have the Infinity Gauntlet here. Yes, with the middle finger. And of course, Deadpool wearing Thanos helmet and Cable next to him. And they look amazing together. I wish I have the space because honestly, I would love to display these two guys like this. And that's basically it for this pose. Last but not least, we're gonna end up this uh, posing uh, section with Deadpool and Cable. Yes, it is kind of difficult to put both arms of Cable together, but I think this one looks pretty cool, right? He's leaning, you know, to the left, and of course Deadpool holding Cable. You know, I kind of balance them both together, so it looks pretty cool. And that's basically it for the poses. All right, guys, my final thoughts about this figure is actually very positive. So start with the likeness. I think this is a really good representation of Cable as seen in the movie Deadpool 2. Yes, it is not 100%. Yes, it is not exactly as the prototype. But overall, I think the likeness is there. It doesn't really bother me. The mouth is slightly open. I think it looks good. The detail paint application is simply fantastic on this figure. Now, the articulation is pretty good. Now we can argue that the single joint could be a problem, but if you can overcome that, you definitely can accomplish cool poses. Now this figure comes with a lot of accessories and that right there is a huge, huge plus, especially for options, right? You can remove the shirt, you can have shirtless if you want. The proportions are not bad at all. Yes, it is not 100%, but overall very happy with this. And because of that, my final score is 8.5 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, guys, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook group, Six Skill Media, 
for anything related once the score figures both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.